What's going on guys? Get here with Rasp Group back with another video today, EDC update. So missed the summer EDC update. Now we're into early fall. So this is going to be an end of summer, early fall update on what I'm carrying for my EDC. We're going to dive right into it. So wallet's the same, Moral Decay Patchworks wallet. Highly recommend you check him out. He does a great, great job. Um, I will probably be asking about a more minimalist wallet in the future, but for now, this one's holding up just fine. Still using the uh, Gray Freighter Gear Hush Rig for my spare magazine when I choose to carry one. I've actually been experimenting quite a bit with the uh, sidecar style of a standalone holster coupled with this. I'm a huge fan. Uh, I can angle it slightly depending on where I want it to go. I can space it out. Really, really like that. I think I'll continue to use this for quite some time. Watch is the same. Garmin Instinct except I'm now using a Urban Armor Gear, I believe synthetic leather watch strap, might be real leather, I would doubt it, but uh, it doesn't irritate my skin as much as the rubber ne neoprene, whatever watch band that comes with the Garmin Instinct is. So I am a big fan of that. Now, for some of the stuff that is new since our last update video, I am using this Benchmade folder instead of the Kershaw now. This was given to me by a friend, Donnie, down in Georgia, right before the Atlanta Range Day event. And I've been carrying it ever since. He had told me that it had been around the world. And I don't know why, but it has some sort of sentimental value to me because it came from a, a good guy and a good friend. So continue to carry that. Uh, other stabby thing, this came from another buddy. This is a spike for my buddy Garrett Burton. Over on Instagram, I believe his name is Pews and Views. He's an excellent photographer. Um... Really like this because of the simplicity. It is literally just a spike. It is rather sharp. So you could probably do some slashing and some uh, cutting work with it if you really needed to, but it's not what it's designed for. I took the spike. I sent it over to a, my other buddy that I've made, uh, Smithworks, who makes Kydex goods, holsters, sheaths, um, even knives, I believe. But he made a little sheath for that as you can see, and it has using an Alti clip. So same thing kind of with a hush rig with the DCC clip. I can carry this in my waistband. I can carry it in a pocket. Uh, I like having the options, right? So this has been my stabby of late, and I'm sorry, you, it's probably not something you can go out and buy, but um, really big fan of that. Very minimalist, very simple. Um, driving a different vehicle now. I recently am the proud owner of a Toyota 4Runner. And as you can see, I got the Sup Duff keychain right here. Make all the hype beasts happy, you know. Um, not really. I just, I do appreciate some of the designs Sup Duff puts out. And I decided, why not the keychain? And it's just been on there ever since. It actually does great helping me pick out different sets of keys um, as far as between that and my truck. So, Firearm is a Glock 45 MOS. We've talked about it. Um, Gorilla Gunworks Stippling and Cerico job, Orbwatch Precision, Mounting Plate, Trigger, Magwell, Ramjet, uh, Rating Weapons, Ramjet and Afterburner, Surefire X300, Steiner MPS, Gagworks Extended Slide Release. Really enjoying this gun. I actually just used it to shoot IDPA this morning, so it probably needs cleaned, but um, this thing is a tank, keeps going as long as you have the appropriate ammo for it. I have ran into some repetitive issues with certain types and grains of ammo. Uh, we'll talk about that when I do kind of a more in-depth review, and I think it's in relation to the comp. But holster is an Apocalypse Holsters standalone. Uh, best customer service in the game I've seen so far. I ordered it on a Tuesday. I'm sorry, a Monday. It was in my hands on a Thursday. Uh, pricing is great. I believe around the $80 mark. Comes with the concealment claw here, or wing, whatever you call it. Great mounting as far as the clip mounting solutions being lower. That means it's going to mount the whole, the gun a little bit higher, so you can get a little bit better for purchase. You have the option to switch that up, obviously, with the different mounting holes. And if you want more concealment, you can always fi find a solution for that. But really, really happy with that holster across the board. Actually, this EDC setup so far across the board I'm very, very, very happy with. So that's my update, guys. Take it or leave it. Um, if I give you any ideas, great. If there's something that I'm doing that you absolutely hate, by all means, put it down in the comment section and uh, give me something to think about. So until next time, friends, stay safe, stay trained, stay rad, and I will be back with the next one.